some of it out into space. So we've seen it, but we know it's here. But how is it here? Liquid water oceans this far from the sun? Well, the answer is Jupiter and its awesome gravity. You see, Jupiter is constantly tugging on Europa that away, while Jupiter's other 90-something moons are tugging on Europa that away, and that tug of war creates friction beneath the surface. If you rub your hands together real fast for a few seconds, they'll start to get warm. That's what's happening to the ice here, how it's possible for liquid water oceans underneath all this ice. Now, we would like to send a robot here to Europa in a couple years called the Clipper. And what the Clipper is going to do is it's going to fly through some of those geysers, take a few samples for us, give us a better idea of what the chemistry is like here. If, big, big if, but if there is some form of life somewhere else in our solar system right now, Europa is probably the first place we want to start looking. Now, we're not talking little green men or anything along those lines, but maybe something could be swimming around in these oceans. Just another reason we're really looking forward to getting a closer look at this moon when the Clipper arrives in a few years. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to turn our attention back to the stars, to these two constellations we pointed out earlier, Orion and Taurus the Bull. There are a couple very beautiful spots here. So I'd like to now start by taking us out of the solar system to visit this group of stars here that we call the Pleiades. Warp drive online. And game. Mm -hmm. Now remember, now remember, all these stars that make up our constellations and our skies here on Earth, well, all very different distances from us and from each other. So way out here, they don't make too much sense anymore. But welcome, everyone, to the Pleiades, sometimes called the Seven Sisters, but as you can see, there are quite a few more than just seven stars here. And